बच्चों के मार्क्स जितने कम आते हैं पापा का वॉल्यूम उतना ही बढ़ जाता है ये होती है पढ़ाई पर कभी सोचा है कि मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी सिर्फ बच्चों की क्यों अब वेदांत तो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस Hi, this is Maria Khan, your master teacher of biology here at Vedantu. Guys, welcome to this session. And today we are here with the short, short series on your favorite chapter that is heredity and evolution. So, if you want to score amazingly well in your boards, stay with me right till the end because we are going to discuss some really, really important questions. And without wasting any further time, let's quickly get started. So, my yo army, like, share, subscribe. I don't need to remind you again and again, right? So let's first uh, discuss two markers, okay? So the first one, give the pair of contrasting traits of the following characters uh, in terms of dominant and recessive, okay? So seeds, seed color if I talk about, so there's yellow and green. So let me pick up another color. So yellow and green, right? And I always start with seed color and I told you, so this one is the dominant and the other one is recessive, right? So when it comes to color, yellow is the dominant and green is the recessive. So the symbol used over here is capital Y and over here is small y, right? Now seed shape. So round is again wrinkled, oh, sorry, round is again uh, dominant. So we will write capital R and wrinkled is the recessive one which we will represent it with small r. So you need to be thorough with all these seven contrasting characters. Okay, there should be absolutely no confusion over here. Now moving forward, so see this is the summarized way of writing or presenting your answer in your examination. Okay, so this calls for a, a proper paper presentation which will give you some bonus marks. Okay, then do all variations in a species have an equal chance of survival? So the answer is guys, before giving the answer, think twice, okay? Now for example, uh, if a person is born with a hole in the heart, so of course this particular variation is not good for the survival. Now on the other hand, uh, when the moths were born with a dark color pigmented wings and the body, now in that case they were able to camouflage in a darker environment. Now this was really a blessing in disguise, yes or no? Yes, so some variations can be useful, some variations can be negligible, some variations can uh, be harmful as well. Now, it totally depends upon the nature of the variation and the environment in which the organism is surviving. Whether the variation will prove advantageous or not, it absolutely depends upon the variation. Okay, so yes, no, all variations in a species do not have an equal chance. Okay, let me use another color only that will be beneficial yeah so this not equal chance for all the variations okay it absolutely depends upon the nature of variation that has uh, been developed in a particular environment okay now what are phenotypic ratios why are phenotypic ratios different from genotypic ratios now we you know the observable physical traits uh, are the pheno is the phenotype and you know, the physical character is phenotype and the genetic constitution, the gene combination, which uh, finally influences the phenotype of an organism is what we call it as genotype, right? So physical appearance, phenotype, gene combination, genotype. This is usually what I say. So you have to define proper as per the textbook definition. And then, then uh, you give the uh, examples that uh, capital T, capital G, T genotype, it makes a person tall, small t, small t uh, makes a person dwarf and capital T, small t also makes a person tall, okay? And after quoting the examples, then you go ahead and quote the ratios, okay? So if you talk about the phenotypic ratio, physical appearance, right? So we have tall is to dwarf. And mention it's 3 is to 1. Now do not forget to pack your answer in a box. Okay. Then if we talk about the genotypic ratio. So we have pure tall is to hybrid tall is to pure dwarf. And the ratio is 1 is to 2 is to 1. 
so please always support your answer with the help of examples only that will make your paper stand out from the crowd okay so if you're finding my tips tricks as well as the quality of questions useful make sure subscribe chalo my yomi let's proceed further so here is like the detailed answer okay ensure you always highlight okay highlight highlighting is very important okay now in a study we found that the fused ear lobes were found in more numbers okay fused ear lobes in a larger population what will you conclude simple hai bhai if it is in larger population so larger population so it's a dominant trait okay lesser population it's a recessive trait as simple as that okay so more number of fused lobes indicates that it is a dominant trait whereas free lobes is a recessive trait as simple as that okay now let us move ahead with three markers now here we have the first one why did mendel why did mendel choose pea plant for his experiments now there were several reasons the very first reason is there were seven pair of contrasting characters right second the plant has a very shorter life span hai na so it's an annual plant so it completes its life cycle in a very shorter duration so it was easier for mendel to repeat the experimentation and uh, uh, get a better better data validity okay then the flowers were bisexual okay bisexual and uh, this it uh, allowed him to perform uh, experiments okay and then fourth uh, the plant allows self as well as cross pollination so hybridization was possible yes or no and then the plant was easily available so this particular question is asked for two marks in the examination so ensure that you write all the points and yes how can i forget it reproduces in large numbers many seeds many many seeds right chal now moving further if a trait exists in 10% population in oh sexually reproducing organisms okay if trait a okay so trait a 10% population trait b 60% population so this means in a sexual reproduction we always see that there are lesser variations right so if there are lesser variations we would say that this particular trait is a variation hai na so it would have arisen later due to i will write arisen later due to variation and this would be a pre existing trait okay so this is how you will actually analyze the situation and you will answer so here they have like mentioned a huge chunk of paragraph try to cut it down okay so keep it as simple as possible so you mentioned in asexual reproduction there is only one parent there is no mixing of genetic material hence we see uh, lesser variations and greater similarities and this the trait b which exists in 60% population indicates that it would have arisen earlier as compared to the trait b uh, trait a which is existing only in 10% population which has arisen due to variations okay perfect great now what is phenotypic ratio obtained in mendel's die hybrid cross now the phenotypic ratio in die hybrid cross is 9 is 2 Three is two, three is two, one. So nine is round yellow. Then we have round green. Then we have wrinkled yellow, and then we have wrinkled green. Right. 
so the ratio is 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 but uh, will you get 3 marks for this no exam se pehle ghar wale shuru ho jate pata aap do pilo beta marks ke liye na tips har koi deta hai इसलिए वेदांतो इंप्रूवमेंट प्रॉमिस अब वेदांतो मार्क्स बढ़ाने की जिम्मेदारी लेगा वरना आपकी पूरी फीस वापस genotype or this phenotype and in f2 generation we get this as a ratio phenotypic ratio okay cool and then variation is beneficial to species but not for individual very important so see second question on variation now guys variations arise as a result of sexual reproduction or maybe because of mutation right now variations okay variations are beneficial to the species than individuals why because sometimes for a species the environmental conditions change so drastically that their survival becomes difficult yes or no yes or no yes for example if the temperature of water increases all of a sudden the uh, uh, fishes will not be able to manage their body temperature and they would die they would die on the contrary some thermo resistant bacteria they would be able to manage other bacteria who are, who are not able they would get destroyed right so even some of the bacteria would give up but there would be a major chunk who would manage to survive yes or no so if we consider at the species level the species would manage to survive the other would not so the variations of adapting to a particular environmental condition or the trait that has an organism to adapt to a particular situation would benefit the species not an individual the individual may be able to cope up may not be able to cope up if it is able to cope up good lucky but if the entire species is able to cope up it will help the survival otherwise it would lead to extinction right so yes variations are beneficial to the species and not for an individual so now moving ahead with the four markers now give reasons for the appearance of a new combination of characters in the f2 progeny of a dihybrid cross now if we see when round yellow plants are crossed with wrinkled green okay capital r capital l capital y capital y small r small r small y small y now in f2 generation we get two new traits or two new two new phenotypes i could say that would be round green and wrinkled yellow how the answer is very simple it is because law of independent assortment but we don't have this law directly given in our book yes or no agreed yes so what will you say you have to express law of independent assortment in your own way in your own language in your own terms okay so here if you see they have mentioned that the one that expresses is dominant and the one that gets suppressed is the recessive one right so in the f1 generation the recessive traits get suppressed and only the dominant trait only round yellow is visible right now when self pollination is done uh, with the individuals who are born in f1 generation okay we get two new traits in the ratio of 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 right now why is this possible because the genes are inherited independently right they are not linked factors are not linked but they are independent and they can be independently inherited right so this shows that the character is not dependent on chance of being yellow or green but it is actually independent of the other pair zaruri nahi hai ki yellow green ke hi sath jayega round yellow ke hi sath jayega sorry wrinkled green ke hi sath jayega aur round yellow ke sath bhi jayega it can criss cross okay it can aaram se 
uh, fuse with anything and that's what we call it as the principle of independent assortment you can explain this in your own way okay there's no uh, guard rays as such over here because it's not directly given in your book yeah so i hope this helps and if you found this session interesting you will found uh, you will find all the paired sessions at vedantu even more interesting so if i talk about your 11 12th uh, you must be interested for neat or j so we have all the batches with all the amazing master teachers wherein there will be live classes in class doubt solving study materials assignments practice language preference everything that you need all under one roof so what are you waiting for enroll now the link to enroll is given in the description box now why would you enroll there are some amazing quizzes much more amazing than menti of late you are also experiencing v quiz right? so here at vedantu we have super amazing tools we cover your entire syllabus nothing left okay so 11 12th ke sath ya to jee ya to neat okay we provide you handwritten notes all your doubts get instantly solved in the class valid doubts pertaining to the session okay either by the master teacher or by the class teacher and we have assignments for practice we have tatwa if you enroll for the entire academic year that is the special notes by vedantu jo ki bahar kahi milne nahi wala hai we give you mock test which you can take and improve in your exams thousands of micro courses absolutely free of cost and je results aap logo ne dekha hi hoga so guys enroll so there are three variants light classic and plus so light is available at 60000 but with my coupon code it is available to you just for 53999 so use my coupon code that is macbrook and avail this amazing discount now all the basic features are available with light and if you ask me i'll recommend you to take light only okay however if uh, you want a doubt solving app offer classic it's for 75000 with my coupon code with my coupon code it's available for 67499 so use my coupon code that's macro okay and then if you want uh, a personal mentor you can offer plus that's for 120000 but with my coupon code kya hai mera coupon code macro kitne bar pata nahi tha yaar yaad rakhna theek hai it's for 1,7999 so if you are skeptical ki kya ye beneficial rahega ya nahi rahega try out a one month subscription okay basically this is a 15 day subscription uh, but with, with my coupon code you get additional 15 days absolutely free of cost so for one month subscription you have to pay very nominal so what are you waiting for guys enroll the link has been given in the description box also has been pinned in the comment section and do not forget to use my coupon code that's mac pro that's going to give you amazing discount and that's it for today's session. If you found the session to be useful and interesting, like, share, subscribe, post to me, yo. Post your queries in the comment section and let's meet in the next session. Till then, and half till Milova. Kisan, keep watching Vedantu. Bye bye. Take care.